I'm Cheesy. I'm a women's health specialist and today I'm going to explain to you how to do a, an at-home diastasis recti check. Um, this obviously is very complicated and very difficult and it would be far better if somebody did it for you. But in the event that someone can't, this is how, how we would do it. Your diastasis is the line between your abdominals that runs from the base of your rib cage to your pubic bone. There are two things that we are looking for. We're looking for, is there tension in your muscles? So if you put your hand on your belly, can you feel your muscles push back at you? And how we would rate this as superficial is really good. I can feel tensioning. Moderate, I have to push my fingers in a little bit to find some tensioning. And deep, I can go all the way into my belly. The second thing we're looking for is, is there gapping? and does it close when we move. So describing gapping with fingers is not really helpful because whose fingers are we talking about? Okay, so what I think would be better is if you just find whether there's a gap and then when you activate your tummy, does the gap actually close? And then based on those two things, you can rate how your belly's going and then see if we can progress it thereafter. We divide your belly into three bits into from the zippy sternum which is the base of your rib cage which is your upper abs then we do the umbilicus which is around your belly button and then we do your pubic bone. So when you would describe it to yourself or if you describe it to a health professional on the phone you would go midway between the zippy sternum and the umbilicus. I have a gapping it's superficial tensioning. Okay, so the test you want to do is definitely not in standing because you have to engage your abs. So we're going to lie down on our backs. Okay, so I'm going to uh, pull my uh, tights down so that you have more of a view of my um, abs. So when we would start, you would first of all find the curve of your ribs, find your zippy sternum, and then very gently palpate or touch the whole way down the center line from your zippy sternum to your abdominals and then to your pubic bone. Okay, so once you have an idea of how hard to push, which isn't very, very hard, kind of similar if you were rubbing cream on yourself, you then want to find out what your belly feels like at rest. Then once you know what it's doing, is it superficial? Is there a little gap? I'm not really sure. You can then write that down. Thereafter, you think about engaging through your belly. Now, when you think about engaging your belly, what we want is a very gentle pelvic floor engagement and very gentle belly back into the spine. So there shouldn't be masses of movement. You shouldn't be gripping. It's just a very gentle 30% contraction. And then you do the same thing again. Can I feel tensioning the whole way down? Do I lose it? Is there a little gap above my belly button or below my belly button? And if I relax my contraction and then contract it again, does that gap close? Okay, so then once you've done that, you then go on to your leg movement. So we do the same thing again, engage through the belly, lift one leg up, and then you're gonna work through your tensioning. Is it superficial? Is it moderate? Is it deep? Is there a gap there? Does the gap close? And this is where we start looking for doming. Now doming is when your abs push up against the ceiling when you do a movement. Now that is incorrect and that tells me that your tummy isn't stable enough to actually lift up your leg. So that gives you a baseline for starting your exercises for keeping your foot flat. Okay, so with the legs we test left and right. And then the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to test a head lift. Now, realistically, at six weeks, there will be a little bit of doming and a little bit of gapping with a head lift. And so if you are testing this anywhere between um, naught to three months postnatal, don't worry about the head lift. It's not necessary. But at three months, you want to test it because it gives you an indication of whether or not you could do a sit-up. So we do the same. We engage through the pelvic floor and the deep tummy muscles, gently lift the head, palpate for tensioning, see if there's a gap, 
If there is a gap, has it closed? Because you'll be checking that same gap all the time. And then really importantly, does your belly dome? If it domes, then you know you're not ready for any head, like, head lifting type exercises and you've created your baseline. And that's how you do a diastasis check.